Hi, I'm Drew Kojak, Executive Director of the International Council on Clean Transportation. This video is part of a six-part series on how to decarbonize the global transportation sector. Our focus here is on marine vessels, such as container ships, bulk carriers, and oil tankers. Global trade relies heavily on the shipping sector, as 90% of the world's cargo is carried by about 50,000 merchant marine vessels. To give you a sense of scale, the largest container ships are a quarter of a mile long and powered by twin diesel engines, each as tall as a four-story building. One of these ships can burn more than 100 tons of fuel per day. Ocean-going ships are also heavy polluters, responsible for 11% of greenhouse gas emissions from the transport sector. And these emissions are projected to double by 2050 unless we take action. In 2018, the International Maritime Organization took decision to cut greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2050 as an initial strategy to address global warming. Experts at the ICCT have identified five approaches that could be used to achieve this target. Number one, slow ships down to save fuel, something called slow steaming. Number two, improve logistics to reduce port delays. Number three, develop energy efficiency retrofits for existing ships, like wind-assisted propulsion, sometimes sails, and hull air lubrication. Number four, use hybrid electric ships. And number five, use low emission fuels like biofuels from waste and renewable hydrogen. When we take a closer look at the marine sector, it's the deep water routes that are the most challenging. Based on our research, most of these voyages can be powered by renewable hydrogen instead of diesel fuel. But there's a problem. Since hydrogen is a gas, it'll take up more storage space than diesel fuel. But we've found in our research that if we replace just 5% of the ship's cargo capacity with hydrogen, these hydrogen-powered ships can operate effectively on all existing commercial routes. And an added benefit is that there are no oil spills with hydrogen because it's a gas. To raise the funds necessary to transition the shipping sector to zero carbon, the ICCT is calling for a temporary fee on marine diesel fuel. The funds raised by this fee would go to building and testing ships powered by zero carbon fuel. This new fund is supported by the world's container ship industry and in our view is the most effective way to effectively transition to zero emission shipping including renewable hydrogen ships. 